Good evening everyone, I am Irma Mast. If you're new here, I have another Q&A for you. Um, some of you have wondered about this channel. Um, at this point, it's mostly Amish like Q&A. I get a lot of questions and it's just a way for me to get it out. And it's an easy way to share around with people that have questions. Um, if I just do a video, say on Facebook, I can't save it and it's harder to share. So that is why I'm mostly just doing these at some point, maybe in the future, I will do some more as things come up. But at this point, this is what I have. So um, if you like it, stick around, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. And so if you see me looking down, it's because I have my questions here and I think I will just get into it. I, th I have a lot of questions. I'm not sure if I will be able to cover everything or not. I will just um, chat for a while and go from there. So first question, do I have siblings growing up and did my parents, my both parents in home growing up? Yes, um, I have siblings growing up. My, it's not focusing. My youngest sister is 18 and um, so they are adults now, but they're still with my parents and growing up. And my parents have both been in the home as far as long as I live. Um, they... It's losing me. Not sure what's going on there with the focus. The sun is really bright, but I'm not sure what's going on. Um, no, I'm white. <laughs> so, um, my parents have always been together, and um, there was never a question. There is zero percent divorce rate in the Amish community, and so. Um, it was never a question whether my parents would, you know, um, separate, but they have always been together and they have always, um, they're still together. And some, this is when I detect an intellect far beyond that one can develop it with an education at the eighth grade, where you're a reader of books for recreation as a growing child. Um, I do have eighth grade education, so thank you for that. I, that, I really take that as a compliment. And yes, I did grow up, um, I did read a lot growing up, um, not so much for to educate myself as far as anything else, it's just reading, you know, storybooks, but um, yeah, I did grow, I did read a ton. In our schools, they, most of the schools have either um, a library that they go to, or they have a bookmobile that comes to their neighborhood, and then they take books, so... Um, books were always a good, um, a big part of my life, always. Um, I still enjoy reading. What did you do for fun growing up and were you design designated in a yours in particular? What did we do for fun growing up? Um, the first things that come to my mind is when I was, say, really small, um, maybe would say 5 to 11. Um, we played house a lot we maybe we had sidewalks and then we had maybe someone lived in a part of the barn and someone lived in a porch or um the pasture the corner of a pasture fence or um and then we had bikes and rollerblades and wagons type of things and one of them had a store and we would go to their store and buy pretend buy things or um go to each other to visit or um if we were really small, we had like dolls and we played church and dolls type of thing. Or in the winter time, I know, or we also had like a animals. We had lots of toys as far as that is. But when we were a little bit older, um, I would say biking it was a lot, um, a big part of my life. And rollerblading, ice, some ice skating, um a lot of games we had card games board games even now my family loves playing games so um there were many many evenings even now in the evenings there they still play games sometimes so i would say that is very a big part um horseback riding um camping and going on rails or trails or um traveling some we didn't travel all the time but um, once a year, about once a year, at least my family likes to go somewhere 
um, that kind of thing. Will we designate any jars in particular? Typically, yes. Um, I would say when we were very young, we the dishes were a big part. Um, oftentimes, we had a chart where we took turns. So every three or four nights, maybe I would wash the dishes. And then the next evening, we did um, clear off the table and sweep. And one of them had dry dishes, kind of that kind of thing. We rotated. And so I would say a big part of it, um, we always had designated chores. And some of the time, some of the time we had barn chores. Um, I know for a long time in cleaning, we had like each different rooms. And then every week we would change off. Um, so yes, we had definitely had our chores to do. Um... Would your parents allow? How do it? Would your parents allow you to date anyone? If so, how did that work? I do have an, a video on dating. I believe it is on my Facebook page. Um, that was one that I didn't um, do that I didn't save, and so you can find that on my Facebook page. Maybe I'll go more into that a separate video just on that. Um, yes, our parents allowed us to date and. Um, as far as how that all went and the whole thing is, I do have a video on my Facebook and I have, I've thought about it. There are maybe ways I could check if I have them somewhere, but I don't think I have them anywhere. So maybe eventually I'll do a whole video just on that. Um, I know I'm going to spell this wrong, but do you experience broom springer? No, not in particular. Our, the church I'm from, the youth group I'm from, we did not have broom springer. So, um... We had a youth group, an organized youth group, a very good youth group, and so we didn't really do that. Did we grow up with toys, musical instruments, or radios? So yes, we had a lot of toys, um, including dolls or and like baby dolls, um, farm animals. We had, you know, all kinds of toys, musical instruments. Um, yes, my family's church allows like the key keyboard the pianos the really big keyboards um i'm not sure about the guitar now i know the guitar is kind of some churches do and some don't excuse me i'm so i'm not sure where that's at right now we didn't have the guitar when i was at home but i think that's maybe allowed now um other musical instruments would be the harmonica um i think that's pretty well yeah, the, the the keyboard is definitely the biggest um go or most that a lot of people have and radios nope radios are not allowed in the Amish churches I don't know of, not unless they're like really new in order but um, we did not have radios and then some of the questions were since I left the Amish um, there must have been a bit planning much planning for the big day leaving the Amish lifestyle behind did I have help in that process um, I also have a video on that and I believe it is at least it is on my Facebook page and I'm not sure if it's here on YouTube so if you do follow me on Facebook you will be able to find that somewhere but um, just a short answer there um, not really there wasn't much planning like for the big day I would say I told my parents and then there were some um, did my siblings and parents know before you left that you were leaving? Did they accept you? And that kind of thing. Um, so, yes, I told my parents, I told my siblings, and I was I still lived in the Amish um, home for a few months until I had another place to live. So they fully knew it was coming. They knew, and I changed some before I moved. Um, it was kind of a slow process. It wasn't just... And then I moved to the non Amish home and then switched like the rest of my clothing. So um, it wasn't just like one big day, everything. It was kind of a, it was a long process and they knew everything. Um, do they accept me? Yes, they accept me. Um, and did they accept you? Yes, they have always accepted me. You mentioned you were excommunicated, but do you still talk to your parents and siblings? Um, so yes, I am technically excommunicated and they still talk to me. I still talk to with my parents, my siblings. Um, we're back and forth. They call, I call when we have groups. Yes, the whole thing. Um, I couldn't imagine living that world into this world without money and a place to stay. How did you pull that off? 
that was a tough one for me. Um, number one, because I wasn't able to have a job and have my own income. So that was the biggest part, um, one of the biggest challenges for me. And not everyone that leaves doesn't have money and a place to stay. I mean, it wouldn't have been a hard place it wouldn't have been hard to find a place to stay had I been able to have a job, but uh, um, my health was very low at that point and I couldn't have a job. So um, how did I pull it off? I guess through prayer and there were people that helped me and um, I had a roommate that I was able to live with for a while that helped me out and then before until I was able to move out on my own. So um, a lot of faith, a lot of faith. I know that church remains a big part of your life, but once you left it, you participated in the um, English hobbies. Like, what do you do for fun recreation? Do you work? If so, how did that come about? <clears throat> um, I imagine you have a strong work ethic, and it reminds me you have to be very determined to leave, get a job, a car, and everything. So, um, let me see the question. Do I have English hobbies? I would say my hobbies are very much similar to what they used to be I still en very much enjoy nature hiking biking um, doing you know sewing or I would say I still have a lot of the same hobbies like I love my you can see part of my keyboard there um, I enjoy playing that and I use that it's not the same one I used to have but it's um you know I used to have a keyboard um, writing, I used to enjoy writing as a hobby and I still do. So I would say I would, I would have some of the same hobbies. Um, like what do I do for on creation? Um, do I work? Yes, I do work. Um, these videos are just a bonus as a way of, um, educating people that I don't make any money of these videos. Um, I get a lot of questions. I love educating and this is just a way for me to educate people and to share some insight of the Amish world. Um, yes, I have cleaning jobs. I do in-home cleaning for um, people. And then I also work from home with my business as Plexus Worldwide as a health coach. And so between those two, the, that is my income. How did, if so, how did that come about? Um, so for the cleaning, I put it online that I'm looking for some cleaning places and some people reached out to me and then from there um, it was by word of mouth and from one to the next so that is how that came about and then my plexus was through my health um, I had a lot of health challenges and a friend reached out to me and asked if I would consider taking plexus and so I did that and eventually I saw the need that people have for help, hope and healing and health and so I started selling the products and being a health coach to people. And so that is kind of how that started. It came because of my health. Um, to be a determined to leave. And, well, it does take a lot of determination, um, but it was, it is definitely worth it. And I actually job in a car. I actually do not have a car yet, so um, I'm getting there. So I think that is all the questions I will answer today. Um, I have quite a bit more here, but my video is getting long enough and I don't want to bore all of you. So um, if you have more questions, feel free to ask questions and stick around. And if you have other video ideas that are not related to Amish, that is fine too. I am really open to doing anything. And um, enjoy your day. And as always, I hope you dream very well.